Andrea Perlo Official, born May 19, 1979, is an Italian football manager and former professional player. Considered one of the greatest midfielders of all time, Perlo was known for his vision, technique, creativity, passing, and free kick ability. Perlo began his club career in 1995 as an attacking midfielder with his hometown club Brescia, winning the Serie B in 1997. He signed for Serie A club Inter Milan a year later, but limited game time and loans away from the club saw him transfer to Cross City rivals AC Milan in 2001. There, Perlo matured into a world-class player in a deep-lying playmaker role, winning two Serie A titles, two UEFA Champions Leagues, two UEFA Super Cups, a FIFA Club World Cup, a Coppa Italia, and a Super Coppa Italiana. He departed for Juventus in 2011, where he won four consecutive Serie A titles, two Super Coppa Italiana titles, and another Coppa Italia. In 2015, Perlo joined Major League Soccer, MLS, Club New York City FC, where he played for two years before retiring in 2017. At the international level, Perlo played 116 matches for the Italy national football team, which is the fifth most of all time. He made his senior debut in 2002 and captained his nation to a bronze medal in the 2004 Olympics. Perlo was instrumental in Italy's triumph at the 2006 FIFA World Cup, winning the bronze ball and being elected to the team of the tournament. He repeated similar success as he led Italy to the UEFA Euro 2012 final. Perlo also represented his country at the 2004 and 2008 UEFA European Championships, the 2010 and 2014 FIFA World Cups, and the 2009 and 2013 FIFA Confederations Cups. Perlo finished in the top four five times in the IFFHS World's Best Playmaker Award between 2006 and 2015, he placed fourth for UEFA Best Player in Europe in 2011 and seventh in 2015, he was named Serie A Footballer of the Year three times and voted to the Serie A Team of the Year four times, Perlo was elected to UEFA Team of the Year in 2012 the UEFA Champions League squad of the season in 2015 and was part of the FIF Pro World Eleven in 2006, he also placed 7th for the 2007 FIFA. World player, finished in the top 10 three times for the Ballon d'Or and was named an MLS All-Star in 2016. In 2019, Perlo was elected into the Italian Football Hall of Fame. Club career Brescia, Inter Milan and Reggina 1992-2001, early years and realization of role Perlo was born in Flero in the province of Brescia. He began his career with the Flero youth team, later moving to Voluntos, and subsequently joined the youth sector of local club Brescia in 1992, where he initially played predominantly as a supporting forward, in 1995. At the age of 16, Perlo made his Serie A debut for Brescia against Reggiana, on May 21, becoming Brescia's youngest player to make an appearance in Serie A. He was promoted by his coach Mircea Lisescu. The following season, he did not appear with the senior team, although he was able to capture the Torneo di Viareggio with the youth team. After breaking into the Brescia first team during the 1996-97 Serie B season, he helped the club to gain Serie A promotion the following season by winning the Serie B title. He scored his first goal in Serie A during the 1997-98 season in a 4-0 home win over Vicenza on October 19, 1997. Due to his performances with Brescia, Perlo was spotted by Inter Milan and signed in the summer of 1998, reuniting with former Brescia coach Lucescu in his first season when the Romanian replaced Luigi Simoni in December. Perlo was unable to break into the first squad permanently, however, and Inter finished 8th in the 1998-99 Serie A campaign. Inter loaned Perlo to Reggina for the 1999-2000 season, alongside fellow youngster Mohamed Kalwan. After an impressive season, he returned to Inter but was once again unable to break into the first team, making just four league appearances. He spent the second half of the 2001 season on loan at his former club, Brescia, where he played alongside his childhood idol, offensive playmaker Roberto Baggio. As Baggio occupied the attacking midfield role for Brescia, manager Carlo Mazzone made a groundbreaking decision, becoming the first coach to deploy Perlo as a deep-lying playmaker, rather than as an offensive midfielder, a deeper creative role in which he particularly excelled, due to his long passing ability. 
Despite initially struggling against relegation that season, Brescia would eventually manage a comfortable seventh-place finish in Serie A, also reaching the Coppa Italia quarterfinals, qualifying for the 2001 Intertoto Cup. A notable moment in Perlo's Brescia career was his long pass which assisted Baggio's late equalizer against Juventus at the Stadio del Alpi. On 1 April 2001, AC Milan 2001-2004, domestic and European success after three seasons on the Inter books, Perlo was sold to. Rivals AC Milan for 33 billion Italian lire, 17,043,078 euros, on June 30. 2001, the last day of the 2001 financial year, the transfer fee was partially funded by the movement of Drajan Brunsic in the opposite direction for an undisclosed fee. In the same window Inter swapped Christian Brocchi, 25 billion lire wink with a frown, 12.9 million euros, for Guli, undisclosed fee, 8.537 million euros profit, and Matteo Bagani for Paolo Ginestra. The deals were later reported by the Italian press to have been undertaken to create false profit by inflating the players' values and the transfer fees in the swap deal. The exchange involving Ginestra and Bagani created an approximate 3.5 million euros profit for both clubs, but this actually manifested itself in terms of useless registration rights. It was at Milan, in particular under manager Carlo Ancelotti, where Perlo made big strides in developing into a world-class player and one of the best deep-lying playmakers and set-piece specialists in the world, as he went on to achieve notable domestic and international success during his time with the club. Perlo later recalled the period he has spent in Milan with Ancelotti. He changed my career, putting me in front of the defense. We shared some unforgettable moments. We had a magnificent past together. After Mazzone's pioneering decision to move Perlo into a deep-seated playmaking role with Brescia during the previous season, Milan managers Fadi Terim and, in particular, Carlo Ancelotti further developed this role for him at Milan. In Ancelotti's 4-3-1-2 and 4-3-2-1 formations, Perlo was deployed as a deep-lying playmaker in front of the defense, 40 which allowed him to play alongside other talented attacking midfielders, such as Rivaldo, Rui Costa, and eventually Kaka, replacing the gap left by Milan legend Dimitrio Albertini in the deep midfield playmaking role. He would become an integral part of the Rossoneri's midfield, forming a formidable partnership with Gennaro Gattuso, as well as with Clarence Seedorf and Massimo Ambrosini, who also supported his playmaking role defensively. Perlo was given the nickname The Metronome during his time at the club, for the way in which he set the team's rhythm. Perlo made his Milan debut on September 20, 2001, in a 2-0 win over Bate Borisov in the UEFA Cup, after coming on for Massimo Donati. During his first season with the club, he helped the team to a fourth-place finish UEFA Champions League qualification spot, also reaching the semi-final of the UEFA Cup, the club's best-ever result in the competition. On March 30, 2002, he scored his first goal with Milan in a 3-1 home win over Parma, from a free kick. AC Milan celebrating after defeating Juventus 3-2 on penalties to win the 2002-03 UEFA Champions League Perlo led Serie A in the 2002-03 season in four categories, passes played, 25-89, ball possession, 123 hours played in 39 minutes, successful balls, 661, and successful passes, 2093, he averaged almost 90 passes per game throughout the season. During this season, his second with the club, he also managed a career best of nine goals in Serie A, as Milan finished the league in third place, also winning the Coppa Italia over Roma, and the UEFA Champions League, beating out Italian rivals in 2003 Serie A champions Juventus in the final 3-2 on penalties, following a 0-0 draw after extra time. The following season saw Perlo win the 2003 UEFA Super Cup with Milan over Porto, although the Rossoneri lost to Juventus on penalties in the 2003 Supercoppa Italiana following a 1-1 draw after extra time. During the match, Perlo scored on a penalty in extra time and once again in the shootout. Milan would also miss out on the 2003 Intercontinental Cup, losing out on penalties once again to Boca Juniors following a 1-1 draw after extra time. On this occasion, Perlo missed his penalty in the shootout after previously setting up Milan's opening goal of the match. 
Perlo would celebrate winning his first Serie A title with Milan during the 2003-04 season however, following up the Scudetto with the 2004 Supercoppa Italiana over Lazio. 2004-2006, struggles Milan finished as runners-up in Serie A to Juventus in the 2004-05 season. In the 2004-05 UEFA Champions League, Perlo finished as one of the second-highest assist providers with four assists as he helped Milan to reach the final in the 2005 UEFA Champions League final against Liverpool on May 25th. Perlo assisted Paolo Maldini's opening goal after 50 seconds from a free kick and combined with Kaka before the Brazilian unleashed Hernan Crespo with a long pass for Milan's third goal before halftime. In the second half, however, Liverpool made a three-goal comeback, sending the match into extra time. After a 3-3 deadlock, the match went to penalties, and Milan were defeated by the English team in the shootout. Despite Perlo's performance throughout the competition and in the final, Perlo had missed his penalty kick during the shootout in the final when it was saved by Jersey Dudek. Perlo would later state in his autobiography that the 2005 UEFA Champions League final defeat on penalties was the worst moment of his career and that he had considered retiring prematurely following the match. The following season, Milan once again finished in second place behind Juventus in Serie A, before their 30-point deduction due to their involvement in the 2006 Calciopoli scandal, also reaching the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League, only to be defeated by eventual champions, Barcelona, and the quarterfinals of the Coppa Italia. In 2006, Perlo placed ninth in the Ballon d'Or, which was won by his Italy teammate Fabio Cannavaro, 62, and was elected to the 2006 FIF Pro World XI. 2006-2009, second UEFA Champions League title Andrea has demonstrated all his great talent and worth. When we played together, everything started with him. He always had the great gift of being able to visualize and anticipate plays before everyone else. His vision, what he can do with the ball, and what he's able to create, make him a true superstar. Andrea has something which you don't see very often. Roberto Baggio on Perlo in 2007, Perlo playing for AC Milan in 2007 Perlo led Milan in minutes played for the 2006-07 season with 2,782 across 52 appearances, as he went on to win his second UEFA Champions League title with Milan, also helping his team to a fourth-place finish in Serie A, and another Coppa Italia semi-final. In the second leg of the UEFA Champions League semi-final against Manchester United, Perlo set up Seedorf's goal as Milan progressed onto the final. In the 2007 UEFA Champions League final in Athens, Perlo assisted Inzaghi's first goal from a free kick, helping Milan to defeat Liverpool 2-1, avenging their 2005 final defeat in Istanbul. During the 2007-08 season, Perlo won his second UEFA Super Cup with Milan, assisting Milan's second goal in the final, and winning the Man of the Match award wink with a frown, he also contributed to the club's first ever FIFA Club World Cup title in 2007, once again setting up Milan's second goal in the final, in October 2007. He was nominated for the 2007 Ballon d'Or, the 2007 FIFA World Player of the Year, and the 2007 International Federation of Football History and Statistics, IFFHS, World's Best Playmaker Awards, but they were all won by Milan teammate Kaka, as Perlo placed fifth in the Ballon d'Or, seventh in the FIFA World Player of the Year, and second in the World's Best Playmaker Awards. Despite a strong start, Milan suffered a dip in form during the second half of the season, finishing the league in fifth place, failing to qualify for the UEFA Champions League wink with a frown. Milan also suffered eliminations in the round of 16 of the UEFA Champions League and the Coppa Italia that season. The following season, Milan managed a second-place finish in Serie A, alongside Juventus, and behind local rivals in Tur, while they were eliminated in the round of 32 of the UEFA Cup and the round of 16 of the Coppa Italia. 2009-2011, second Scudetto and Farewell Perlo, left, with AC Milan, preparing to take a free kick against Real Madrid in the 2010-11 UEFA Champions League after Kaka and Ancelotti left Milan in the summer of 2009, Chelsea tested Milan's resolve by bidding $12 million in Claudio Pizarro for Perlo. 
The club rejected the offer and Perlo was said to be contemplating a transfer request. On August 5th, club owner Silvio Berlusconi decided not to sell Perlo, who said he was overjoyed and wanted to end his career at Milan. On October 21st, 2009, Perlo scored a notable 30-meter goal in Milan's 3-2 win over Real Madrid in the UEFA Champions League. Milan were eventually eliminated in the round of 16, Milan finished the season with a third place in Serie A, and a quarter-final finish in the Coppa. Italia under new manager Leonardo, the following season saw Milan dominate the league. Milan played host to Genoa on September 25, 2010, with Perlo providing a lifted ball over the top of the defense to set striker Zlatan Ibrahimovic free to score the solitary goal of the game. On October 2, Perlo scored a 40-yard goal against Parma to give Milan their first away win of the 2010-11 season. On May 14, 2011, Perlo appeared in his last match for Milan, coming on as a halftime substitute for Ambrosini as the club celebrated their Serie A title with a 4-1 victory over Cagliari. Four days later, Perlo confirmed that he would be leaving Milan at the end of the 2010-11 season after a mutual decision not to renew his contract. In his last season in Milan, Perlo appeared in the league just 17 times under manager Massimiliano Allegri, notching just one goal and three assists. He won his second Serie A title with Milan that season and also reached the round of 16 in the UEFA Champions League as well as the semi-final stage in the Coppa Italia. In total with Milan, Perlo made 401 appearances, scoring 41 goals. With the club, he won two Serie A titles in 2004 and 2011, as well as two UEFA Champions League titles in 2003 and 2007, also reaching the final in 2005. He also won a Coppa Italia in 2003, a Super Coppa Italiana in 2004 and two UEFA Super Cups in 2003 and 2007, as well as playing a key role in Milan's first-ever FIFA Club World Cup title in 2007. During this period, Milan also finished as runners-up in Serie A in the 2004-05 and the 2005-06 seasons, as well as finishing second on penalties in the 2003 Supercoppa Italiana and in the 2003 Intercontinental Cup. Juventus when Andrea told me that he was joining us, the first thing I thought was, God exists. A player of his level and ability, not to mention that he was free, I think it was the signing of the century. Gianluigi Buffon on Perlo's transfer to Juventus in 2011, 2011-2012, debut season Perlo with Juventus in 2011. He went on to appear in 41 matches in his first season with the Bayern Canary. Following Perlo's departure from Milan in 2011, Juventus signed him on a free transfer on a contract until 2014. His debut with Juventus was in a friendly match against Sporting CP, which they lost 2-1. His first competitive match with Juventus was the 2011-12 Serie A opening match against Parma at home, in which he tallied two assists for Stefan Licksteiner and Claudio Marchisio, the latter of which was the first ever goal in the Juventus stadium and completed 110 passes in a 4-1 victory. Antonio Conti played him alongside younger midfielders Marchisio and new signing Arturo Vidal in a three-man midfield, which allowed Perlo to function creatively as a deep-lying playmaker, while Marchisio and Vidal supported him defensively. Perlo's first goal for Juventus was a free kick against Catania on February 18, 2012 securing a 3-1 victory for Juventus and put the club back at the top of the Serie A table, above his former club Milan, on March 18, Perlo scored in a 5-0 demolition of Fiorentina and after the game dedicated the win to Fabrice Mwamba, who suffered a cardiac arrest playing for Bolton Wanderers during a match against Tottenham Hotspur the same day. Perlo finished the season by winning the 2011-12 Serie A title after helping Juventus to secure a 2-0 victory over Cagliari. He provided the most assists in the Serie A that season, with 13, and he also found the back of the net three times in the league. Perlo created over 100 chances and completed 2,643 passes that season, with an 87% pass completion rate, completing 500 more passes than any other player in Serie A. The only player in the world to have completed more passes than him that season was Chavi. 
Due to his performances throughout the season and his key role in leading Juventus to their first Serie A title in nine years, he was named to the Serie A Team of the Year, along with his Juventus midfielder partner Vidal. Perlo and Juventus also finished runners-up to Napoli in the Coppa Italia final that season. Perlo's fine form in the 2011-12 season, in which he led Juventus to the league title, the Super Coppa Italiana and Coppa Italia final, as well as leading Italy to the final of 2012 Euro, saw him nominated for the 2012 UEFA Best Player in Europe Award, in which he finished 4th. He was also elected to be part of the 2012 ESM Team of the Year and the 2012 UEFA Team of the Year, 2012 to 2014. Consistent domestic success Perlo played in the 2012 Supercoppa Italiana in Beijing on August 11, 2012 against Napoli, helping Juventus to a 4-2 win in extra time. He curled in a free kick to seal a 2-0 defeat of Parma on the opening day of the new Serie A season. The goal caused much controversy, as the Parma players protested that it had not gone over the line, and replays proved inconclusive. In the following league match against Udinese on September 2, Perlo helped to win a penalty and assisted Sebastian Giovinco's second goal of the match, as Juventus went on to defeat the home team 4-1. On September 29, Perlo opened the scoring when he dispatched a trademark free kick to send Juventus on their way to a 4-1 defeat of Roma. Perlo was nominated. For the 2012 FIFA Ballon d'Or, along with Juventus and Italy teammate Gianluigi Buffon, following their performances throughout the calendar year, Perlo provided three assists for Juventus during the group stage, helping them to top their group undefeated and advance to the knockout stages for first time since the 2008-09 tournament. Perlo was also elected the 2012 Serie A Footballer of the Year, as well as the best midfielder of the season, also winning the 2012 Guerin d'Oro. He was named as part of the 2012 Serie A Team of the Year for his performances. Perlo also won the Polona Zero, given to the best player of the year in the Italy national team, as well as placing fourth in the IFFHS World's Best Playmaker of the Year award and seventh in the FIFA Ballon d'Or. Perlo and Juventus retained their Serie A title that season. Juventus were, however, eliminated by Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League and in the semifinals of the Coppa Italia by Lazio. Both of these teams were the winners of these respective competitions. Perlo featured in Juventus's 4-0 win against Lazio in the 2013 Supercoppa Italiana on August 18, 2013 at the Stadio Olimpico in Rome. Perlo helped to create Paul Pogba's opening goal in the 23rd minute of play. Perlo was the only Italian player to be nominated for the 2013 FIFA Ballon d'Or and was also nominated for the 2013 FIF Pro World XI. On December 1, Perlo sustained a knee ligament injury which would keep him off the field for over a month. On January 12, 2014, Perlo signed a new contract with Juventus, which will keep him at the club until 2016. On January 27, Perlo was named Serie A footballer of the year for a second consecutive time and was once again included in the Serie A Team of the Year. Juventus won their 30th league title that season with a record 102 points and 33 victories. This was also their third consecutive title since Perlo's arrival. Juventus also reached the quarterfinals of the Coppa Italia, losing out to Roma. The Turin club suffered a group stage elimination in the UEFA Champions League but managed a semi-final finish in the UEFA Europa League, losing out to Benfica, with Perlo scoring a match-winning goal from a free kick in the round of 16 against Fiorentina. Perlo was chosen to be part of the 2013-14 Europa League team of the season for his performances in the competition. 2014-2015, UEFA Champions League final and departure Perlo playing for Juventus in 2014 on June 11, 2014, Perlo signed a new contract keeping him at Juventus until 2016, Perlo made his 100th league appearance for Juventus in a 3-2 home win over Roma on 5 October 2014, on November 1, Perlo scored Juventus's opening goal from a free kick in a 2-0 win over Empoli, on their 117th anniversary, this was his 26th goal from a free kick in Serie A, putting him two goals behind the all-time record holder, Sinisa Mihajlovic. On November 4, Perlo scored once again from a trademark, curling direct free kick in a 3-2. 
home win over Olympiacos in a group stage UEFA Champions League fixture. This was Perlo's 100th appearance in the UEFA Champions League, marking the occasion with his first UEFA Champions League goal with Juventus. Citation needed, on December 15, 2014, Perlo was named the Serie A Footballer of the Year for the third time in his career and for the third consecutive year since his arrival at Juventus, he was also named part of the 2014 Serie A Team of the Year, in Juventus's 2-1 home victory. Over Borussia Dortmund in the round of 16 of the UEFA Champions League, on February 24, 2015, Perlo left the pitch during the first half of the match after injuring his right calf, ruling him out for three weeks. Perlo was called up on April 11, 2015 against Parma following his injury, he returned to the starting lineup on April 14, 2015, helping Alvaro Morata to win a penalty which was later converted by Vidal in a 1-0 victory over Monaco at the Juventus Stadium in the first leg of the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals. He was replaced by Andrea Barzogli during the second half. On April 26, Perlo scored from a free kick in a 2-1 away defeat to local rivals Torino in the Derby di Torino. This was his 28th goal in Serie A from a free kick, which put him level with Mihic Lovic as the player with the most goals from free kicks in Serie A history. On May 20, Perlo played a part in both of Juventus's goals as the Turin club defeated Lazio 2-1 at the Stadio Olimpico in the 2015 Coppa Italia final. On June 6, 2015, Perlo played the entirety of the 2015 UEFA Champions. League final as Juventus were defeated 3-1 by Barcelona at Berlin's Olympia Stadion wink with a frown, this was the final game of his Juventus career. Perlo was named to the 2014-15 UEFA Champions League squad of the season for his performances. In total, he made 164 appearances for Juventus in all competitions, scoring 19 goals, 15 of which were scored from free kicks, also providing 39 assists, 31 of his goals came in Serie A, from 119 appearances. During his four seasons in Turin, he won four Serie A titles, a Coppa Italia, and two Super Coppa Italiane, also reaching the fourth UEFA Champions League final of his career during his final season with the club. Over 20 seasons in Italy, he made 493 appearances in Serie A, with 101 assists in the Italian top flight, he is also the fifth highest assist provider in Serie A history, behind Francesco Totti, Roberto Baggio, Alessandro Del Piero, and Johnny Rivera, New York City FC Perlo with New York City FC in 2017-2015. Playoff disappointment on July 6, 2015, it was announced that Perlo had completed a move to Major League Soccer, MLS, expansion franchise New York City FC as their third designated player. In doing so, he became the highest paid Italian player in all leagues with an $8 million salary, citation needed, until Graziano Pell overtook him after moving to Chinese club Shandong Luoning the following year. Perlo made his debut with the club on July 26. 2015 at Yankee Stadium in New York against Orlando City, coming on as a substitute in the 56th minute. He was involved in his team's third and fourth goals and was booked in the 88th minute as New York won the match 5-3. He made his first start for New York on August 1st in a 3-2 home defeat to the Montreal Impact. On August 12th, it was announced that Perlo had placed seventh in the 2015 UEFA Best Player in Europe. On August 13, he set up a goal for David Villa in a 3-1 home win over DC United. In October 2015, Perlo was named to the 59-player shortlist for the 2015 FIFA Ballon d'Or. He finished the 2015 MLS season with five assists in 13 appearances and ended up third in the MLS in minutes per pass, although he failed to score a goal. Despite the presence of Perlo and two other UEFA Champions League winners, David Villa and Frank Lampard, New York City failed to qualify for the 2015 MLS Cup playoffs at the conclusion of their debut season, which drew criticism from the press wink with a frown. Perlo in particular drew criticism from the media for his low defensive work rate. In November, Perlo became the first MLS player in history to be nominated for the FIF Pro World XI. 2016, All-Star designation Perlo made. His first assist of the 2016 MLS season on April 30th, as he set up a goal for David Villa from a corner in a 3-2 home win over the Vancouver Whitecaps. 
On June 18, he scored his first MLS goal from a free kick in the 50th minute of a 3-2 home victory over Philadelphia. In July 2016, Perlo was included in the roster for the 2016 MLS All-Star Game. Perlo finished his second MLS season with the club with one goal and a team seasonal best of 11 assists in 32 appearances, 143, as New York. City finished in second place in the Eastern Conference and qualified for the MLS Cup playoffs for the first time ever, clinching a spot in the Eastern Conference semifinal. He was ruled out of the first leg, however, after sustaining a last-minute calf injury, and New York lost the match 2-0 away to Toronto. He appeared in the second leg on November 6, as New York were eliminated from the playoffs 7-0 on aggregate, following a 5-0 home defeat to Toronto. 2017, retirement after struggling with persisting physical problems for most of the 2017 MLS season, on October 8, 2017, Perlo announced that he would retire from professional football at the end of the season wink with a frown, in total, he was limited to only 15 appearances and two assists during the 2017 MLS regular season, he made his final professional. Appearance on November 5th coming on as a 90th-minute substitute in a 2-0 home win over Columbus Crew in the second leg of the 2017 MLS Cup Eastern Conference semifinals, New York were eliminated from the playoffs following a 4-3 aggregate loss. In total, Perlo made 62 appearances for New York, 60 of which came in the MLS regular season, with the other two coming in the MLS Cup playoffs, over the course of his three seasons with the club, scoring one goal and providing 18 assists, all of which came during the MLS regular season. Perlo officially communicated his retirement from professional football the following day, on Twitter. A testimonial match, La Nate del Maestro, was played at the San Siro Stadium in Milan on May 21, 2018, in honor of Perlo's retirement from professional football. International career Perlo is a silent leader. He speaks with his feet. Marcelo Lippi, to pass the ball to Andrea Perlo is like to hide it in a safe. Spigny of Boniac, is he the best player of his generation? Not quite, but he is the most important. Michael Cox, under 21 in Olympic career, senior team debut, and Euro 2004 Perlo captained Italy to an under-21 European Championship in 2000, wearing the number 10 jersey, and winning the awards for best player and top scorer of the tournament with three goals, he scored both goals, one from a penalty and the other from a free kick, in Italy's 2-1 victory over Czech Republic in the final. He also led the Italy under-21 team to a semi-final finish in the 2002 edition of the tournament. Perlo played for Italy at the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney, scoring a goal in Italy's 1-0 opening win over hosts Australia on 13 September wink with a frown. He also helped Italy win the bronze medal as overage players at the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens. With 46 matches and 16 goals, Perlo is the record appearance holder for the Italian under-21 team and the second-highest goal scorer after Alberto Giordino. Under Giovanni Trapattoni, Perlo debuted for the Italian senior squad at the age of 23 in a 2-0 away victory against Azerbaijan in a Euro 2004 qualifying match wink with a frown, 164. He also appeared in a friendly match in Pescara against Turkey on November 20, later that year, which ended in a 1-1 draw. Perlo scored his first goal for Italy from a free kick in a 4-0 away win in a friendly match against Tunisia. His first major tournament with the Italian senior team was UEFA Euro 2004 under Trapattoni, where he made two appearances in Italy's last two group matches, the first in a 1-1 draw against Sweden and the second in a 2-1 win over Bulgaria. The Italian team was eliminated in the first round, on direct encounters, following a three-way five-point tie with Sweden and Denmark. 2006 World Cup under Trapattoni's replacement, Marcello Lippi, Perlo became a key member of Italy's starting lineup during their 2006 World Cup qualifying campaign, and he was eventually called up as a starting member of the Italian squad for the 2006 FIFA World Cup, on March 26. 2005, he assured Italy's participation in the tournament after scoring from two free kicks in a 2-0 win against Scotland in a World Cup qualifier. 
Perlo was named to Italy's 23-man squad for the 2006 World Cup and appeared in all of Italy's matches at the tournament, playing 668 minutes in total. In Italy's first match of the tournament on June 12, Perlo scored the opening goal against Ghana and subsequently helped set up a goal for Vincenzo Iaquinta to seal a 2-0 victory as the midfielder was named man of the match. In the second match on June 17, he set up a diving header for Gilardino from a set piece which proved to be vital in the 1-1 draw against the United States. In the semi-final against Germany on July 4, he assisted Fabio Grosso's opening goal in the dying minutes of extra time and was again named man of the match as Italy triumphed 2-0 over the hosts. In the final against France on July 9, his corner kick produced Marco Materazzi's equalizing header 10 minutes after France had opened the scoring with a Zinedine Zidane penalty. Following a 1-1 deadlock after extra time, the match went to a penalty shootout in which he scored the first spot kick, helping Italy to win the title. Perlo formed a formidable midfield partnership with Milan teammate Gattuso, and he completed 475 passes out of 580 attempted throughout the tournament, while also winning 18 challenges. After the final, he was named Man of the Match for a third time, winning more Man of the Match awards than any other player in the tournament. Perlo was voted the third best player of the tournament, winning the bronze ball. He was named as part of the 2006 FIF Pro 11 and as part of the 2006 World Cup team of the tournament for his performances, placing ninth in both the 2006 Ballon d'Or and the 2006 FIFA World Player of the Year awards. I don't feel pressure. I don't give a toss about it. I spent the afternoon of Sunday, July 9, 2006 in Berlin sleeping and playing the PlayStation. In the evening, I went out and won the World Cup. Perlo, on his mental state in Italy's World Cup victory over France in the 2006 FIFA World Cup, in Berlin, post-World Cup Perlo appeared in all three of Italy's group matches at UEFA Euro 2008. He was named man of the match in Italy's second group match, a 1-1 draw against Romania, on 13 June, on June 17, 2008. Perlo netted a penalty as Italy defeated France 2-0 in the final group match to send their rivals and World Cup runners-up crashing out of the European Championships in the first round. Italy lost on penalty kicks to eventual winner Spain in the quarterfinals. As Perlo and Milan teammate Gattuso were suspended for the match, on June 15, 2009, Perlo assisted Giuseppe. Rossi's second goal in a 3-1 win in Italy's opening match of the Confederations Cup against the United States, Italy subsequently lost the following two group matches against Egypt and Brazil, and were eliminated from the competition in the first round. Perlo was not able to play the first two games in the 2010 World Cup for Italy due to recent injuries. He came off the bench for Italy late in the match on June 24 against Slovakia. Even with his help in orchestrating a renewed Italian offense, Perlo could not prevent Italy from being knocked out of the first round. Euro 2012 coach Prandelli named Perlo vice captain of the Italian squad, behind captain Gianluigi Buffon. Perlo appeared in nine matches as Italy qualified undefeated for the European Championships in Poland and Ukraine, providing several assists and netting one goal in Italy's 5 0 victory over the Faroe Islands on September 7, 2010. Perlo playing for Italy against England in quarter-final of Euro 2012 because of his excellent performances in leading Juventus to win the Serie A title, Italy coach Cesare Prandelli included the playmaker in his 32-man provisional squad for Euro 2012 and subsequently in Italy's final 23-man squad for the tournament. Perlo provided the cutting ball from which Antonio Di Natale scored the opening goal of Italy's 1-1 draw with world and European champion Spain in the opening round of group play on June 10, 2012. Perlo then opened the scoring himself from a direct free kick in Italy's second group match against Croatia on June 14, which also ended in a 1-1 draw. Perlo was named man of the match. In the final group match against Republic of Ireland, Perlo set up Antonio Cassano's goal from a corner kick to help Italy take a 1-0 lead. Italy eventually won 2-0 and progressed to the knockout stage of the tournament as runners-up in Group C. On June 24, Perlo produced a man-of-the-match performance in the quarterfinals against England, as Italy won 4-2 on penalties after the game had finished 0-0 in extra time. 
Perlo scored in the shootout with an audacious chipped penalty down the center of the goal, also known as a panenka. Following the match Perlo spoke of his eloquent penalty, stating, At the moment I saw the goalkeeper making strange movements, so I waited for him to move and hit it like that. It was easier for me to chip it at that stage. Maybe my effort put some pressure on England. Perlow completed more passes than the entire England midfield as he managed 131 passes, the most of any player during the match and the second most in a single match in the history of the European Championship behind Xavi with an 87% pass completion rate as Italy finished the match with 63% ball possession. He also ran 11.58 kilometers throughout the match, covering more distance than any England player. In the semi-final round, on June 28, Perlo once again put up a man of the match performance against Germany, starting the play which led to Balotelli's first goal of the match, as Italy won 2-1 to advance to the final of the tournament. Citation needed, following Italy's success in the semi-finals, Italy were defeated 4-0 against Spain in the final. Perlo won three Man of the Match awards at Euro 2012, the most awards won by a single player, along with Andres Iniesta of Tournament Champion Spain. Perlo was nominated for the Player of the Tournament award, which ultimately went to Iniesta, and he was also elected to be part of the team of the tournament. 2013 Confederations Cup Perlo was selected for Italy's squad to play in Brazil at the 2013 Confederations Cup. He won his 100th cap on June 16 in Italy's opening game against Mexico. Opening the scoring with a trademark free kick as Italy won 2-1, and Perlo was voted man of the match he was only the fifth Italian player to receive 100 caps after Dino Zoff, Paolo Maldini, Gianluigi Buffon, and Fabio Cannavaro. In the second group stage match against Japan on June 19, Perlo assisted De Rossi's goal against from a corner as the match ended 4-3 to Italy. The win allowed Italy to progress to the semi-finals of the competition for the first time. Perlo did not play in the third group stage match against hosts Brazil, as he had come down with a minor injury at the end of the second match, although he would be available to play for the semi-finals. Italy were defeated 4-2 in the final group stage match on June 22, which meant that they finished second in Group A, and would be playing the winners of Group B, tournament favorite Spain, in a rematch of the European Championship final of the previous year. Italy held Spain to 0-0 draw on June 27, as the match eventually went to penalties. Perlo netted his penalty, but Benucci's miss allowed Spain to advance to the final, as Italy lost the shootout 7-6. Perlo was injured for the third-place final, although Italy managed to defeat Uruguay 3-2 on penalties on June 30, after a 2-2 draw. Perlo was named to the team of the tournament and was nominated for the Golden Ball Award, although he failed to place amongst the top three players of the tournament as the awards went to Neymar, Iniesta, and Paulinho, respectively. 2014 World Cup Perlo scored one goal during Italy's qualification campaign for the 2014 FIFA World Cup, which saw them top their group, undefeated. Perlo converted a penalty as Italy dispatched Armenia by a score of 3-1 on October 12, 2012, and assisted several goals during the World Cup qualifying campaign. On June 5, 2014, Perlo was selected by Italy manager Prandelli as part of his 23-man squad for the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. On June 12, Perlo announced that he would retire from international football following the tournament. In the 2014 World Cup, Italy were placed in Group D, along with Costa Rica, England and Uruguay, in what was called the Group of Death. On June 14, in Italy's opening match against England, Perlo wore the captain's armband due to Buffon's last-minute injury. The match ended with a 2-1 win to Italy. Perlo heavily contributed to Italy's win, controlling the flow of the game and setting up several goal-scoring chances, as Italy dominated possession. During the match, Perlo made 108 passes in total, only misplacing five, with a pass completion rate of 95.4%, completing the most passes of any other player in the previous opening matches of the 2014 World Cup. With a 93.2 pass percentage, Italy also managed to record the highest pass accuracy percentage of any team in a World Cup match since Denmark in the 1966 World Cup, completing 561 of their 602 passes. 
Perlo also contributed to Italy's first goal of the match, Antonio Candreva's short corner was played to Marco Verratti, who then passed the ball out wide towards Perlo, who drew his marker with him. Perlo let the ball pass in between his legs to Marchisio, leaving him with space to score with a low drive from outside the area. Perlo also managed to hit the crossbar from a swerving free kick in injury time. Italy suffered 1 0 defeats in both of their remaining matches against Costa Rica and Uruguay, however, and were eliminated in the group stage for the second consecutive World Cup, finishing in a disappointing third place in their group, behind Costa Rica and Uruguay. Perlo's appearance against Uruguay was his 112th cap for Italy, which allowed him to equal Dino Zoff's number of appearances for the Italy national team and made him the fourth most capped player for the Italy national team. The Italian squad and manager, Cesare Prandelli, were criticized for over-relying on Perlo to create goal-scoring chances. Although Perlo was able to set up some goal-scoring opportunities and did test the opposition goalkeepers with some dangerous free kicks in the final two group games, his performances were stifled by the defensive pressure of the opposition, and he was much less dominant than he had been in the opening match against England. Although he had previously communicated his intention to retire after the World Cup, he stated, upon his return to Italy, that he would still be available to play for the National team, Euro 2016 Perlo captaining Italy in 2015 despite previously announcing his international retirement following the 2014 World Cup, Perlo reversed his decision, and under new Italy manager, and Perlo's former Juventus manager Conti, Perlo returned to the Italian squad, on October 10. Perlo started in Italy's second Euro 2016 qualifying match, which ended in a 2-1 home win over Azerbaijan, overtaking Zoff with his 113th appearance for Italy. Perlo assisted Cialini's first goal of the match from a corner kick. In August 2015, Perlo was called for Italy's Euro 2016 qualifying matches against Malta and Bulgaria in September. He appeared in Italy's 1-0 home victory over Malta on September 3, becoming the first MLS player to represent Italy. This was his final international appearance. In total, Perlo made four appearances under Conti. As Italy qualified for Euro 2016 on October 10 in a 3-1 win over Azerbaijan on May 23, 2016, Perlo, along with fellow MLS. Compatriot Giovinco was left off of Conti's 30-player shortlist for Italy's Euro 2016 squad. Regarding their omission, Conti commented in a press conference, when you make a certain choice and go to play in certain leagues, you do so taking it into account that they could pay the consequences from a footballing viewpoint. In response to Conti's comments, Perlo stated to Sky Italia, I have spoken to Conti and there is no disappointment on my part, he knows what he has to do and what he should not do. We had discussions during the season and both parties made their own decisions. He is the coach and it's only right he makes his decisions and decides what is best for him. I hope Italy win although the favorites are other teams such as Germany, Spain and France. In total, Perlo made 116 appearances for Italy, scoring 13 goals, making him the fifth most capped player in his nation's history. Style of play Perlo is a genius. Together with Baggio, I think he's the greatest talent that Italian football has produced in the last 25 years. Gianluigi Buffon, in 2014, Perlo spots a pass in a split second that lesser players could spend a whole lifetime waiting to see. Carlo Ancelotti, Perlo can make his feet do whatever he wants. He's a genius. Johan Cruyff, position and reception tactically, Perlo was capable of playing in several midfield positions, but was usually deployed by his club and national teams as a central midfielder in the role of a deep-lying playmaker due to his vision and passing accuracy. A highly technical and creative player, Perlo is regarded by players, managers, and pundits as one of the greatest ever players in his position wink with a frown. Throughout his career, he was considered one of the greatest midfielders in the world and of his generation, and as one of the greatest Italian players ever, and is regarded as one of the greatest midfielders of all time by several pundits, managers, and players. Perlo started his career in a more advanced role as an attacking midfielder. 
and also played as a supporting striker on occasion, although he was considered a talented young prospect, even drawing comparisons with former Italian footballer Johnny Rivera, Perlo occasionally struggled in this role, due to his lack of pace and competition from other talented and more dynamic players in his position. Because of this, he was later moved to a deep-lying playmaker role by his coaches Mazzone, Terim, and Ancelotti, where he was able to excel due to his unique capabilities. This position best utilized Perlo's attributes and allowed him to operate creatively from a deeper position, in or even behind the main midfield line, in a seemingly defensive midfield role, where he was allowed more time on the ball to create scoring opportunities with his trademark long balls. This position has occasionally been described as the Perlo role in the media, due to Perlo's association with the role and his success in executing and popularizing it during his final season. With Milan, Perlo was also used on the wing under Allegri, due to his ability to provide accurate crosses, skills Perlo playing for Juventus in 2012 although not gifted with pace, stamina, physicality or notable defensive skills, work rate, or tackling abilities, NB1, Perlo was known for his composure and possession, and drew praise for his touch, technique, balance, elegance, close control, and dribbling ability, as well as his flair and creativity in beating players with feints during one. On one situations, in order to retain the ball and create space for himself to play and receive passes. His reactions and ability to anticipate plays also enabled him to cover ground in midfield and intercept passes despite his lack of pace, tackling ability, or stamina. As a playmaker, he is highly regarded by pundits for his outstanding vision, awareness, and football intelligence, as well as his movement, positional sense, inventive play, anticipation, ability to read the game, and his wide range of distribution, which enabled him to play the ball first time and rarely relinquish possession, even when put under pressure, in addition to being capable of playing precise. Short exchanges to teammates, he was also known for frequently attempting riskier and more difficult passes and is renowned in particular for his extremely accurate long-range passing, both on the ground or in the air, with either foot, despite being naturally right-footed. He is considered to be one of the best passers in the history of the sport and is also known for his accurate striking ability from distance. These characteristics allowed him to contribute to his team's offensive play with goals and assists. Perlo was a free kick and penalty kick specialist. Throughout his career, he was regarded as one of the best free kick takers in the world and drew praise from pundits for his versatility and ability to both score and create chances from dead ball. Situations he was extremely effective at curling shots accurately on target from close range, a technique that he perfected by studying Baggio in training sessions during their time at Brescia together wink with a frown. As a youngster, Zico, Michel Platini, and Diego Maradona were also some of his major influences when taking free kicks. Perlo was also capable of scoring from long-range free kicks with swerve and power, due to his unique technique, which was inspired by Janinho's knuckleball free kicks, this technique was later dubbed the Maladetta, accursed, in the Italian media. Perlo has scored the highest number of free kicks in Serie A, alongside Sinisa Mihajlovic. Nicknames fellow players on the Italy national team nicknamed Perlo El Architetto, the architect, because of the way that he built plays and set up goal-scoring opportunities with long, lobbed through passes. In later seasons, Juventus fans also dubbed him Il Professor, the Professor, comma, Maestro, and Mozart as a reference to the Austrian composer's prodigious ability. Perlo was also frequently compared to fellow former Milan and Italy playmaker Albertini early in his Milan career, due to their similar characteristics and style of play. Perlo was often thought to be Albertini's heir for Milan and the national team wink with a frown, he inherited his nickname the metronome whilst playing at Milan, for the way in which he influenced games by controlling the tempo of his team's play through his direct, precise, and efficient passing game in midfield, as well as his ability to make himself available to teammates to receive and subsequently distribute the ball. Managerial career in August 2019, Perlo enrolled in the UEFA Pro License courses at Coverciano. On July 30, 2020, Perlo was appointed head coach of Serie C Club Juventus U23, the reserve side of his former club Juventus. Nine days later, following the dismissal of Maurizio Sarri, Perlo was appointed head coach of the first team, signing a two-year contract. 
Perlo received his UEFA Pro license on September 16, 2020. Perlo received 107 out of 110 after his oral validation of his 30-page thesis, entitled The Football That I Would Like, Italian, Il Calcio Cevere, dot, Perlo cited the teams that inspired his idea of football as the Barcelona of Johan Cruyff and then of Pep Guardiola, the Ajax of Luis van Gaal, the Milan of Carlo Ancelotti, and the Juventus of Antonio Conti. In his first competitive match as a head coach, on September 20, 2020, Juventus won 3-0 at home in a league game against Sampdoria. He made his Champions League debut as a manager on October 20, leading Juventus to a 2-0 away win over Dynamo Kiev. As a result, he became only the third Juventus manager after Lippi and Capello to win his first away game in the competition. On January 20, 2021, Perlo won his first trophy as manager with Juventus, beating Napoli 2-0 in the 2020 Supercoppa Italiana. On March 9, 2021, Juventus were eliminated from the 2020-21 UEFA Champions League by Porto in the round of 16 on the away. Goals rule, drawing 4-4 on aggregate. On May 2, 2021, Juventus' run of nine consecutive titles was mathematically ended by Internazionale who were confirmed as champions. On May 19, Perlo won the Coppa Italia with Juventus following a 2-1 victory over Atlanta in the final. On May 23, the final day of the league, Perlo managed to secure a fourth-place finish for Juventus after a 4-1 away win over Bologna, one point above Napoli which drew 1-1 with Verona, granting Juventus qualification to the following season's Champions League. Five days later, on May 28, Juventus announced the departure of Perlo from his managerial position at the club. On June 12, 2022, Perlo was appointed as manager of Turkish club Fadi Karagamruk. The club later announced Perlo's release on 24 May 2023. On June 27, 2023, Perlo was appointed manager of Sampdoria, who had just been relegated to Serie B that season. After completing the season in seventh place, he was confirmed for the next season but was sacked on August 29, 2024 after a dismal start to the club's 2024-25 Serie B, with only one point in the first three league games. Personal Life Perlo is one of two children along with his brother Ivan. He was married to Deborah Roversi between 2001 and 2013. The couple have two children, son Nicolo, born 2003, and daughter Angela, born 2006. The couple separated in 2014. Perlo's father founded a metal trading company in Brescia in 1982 called Elg Steel. Perlo himself retains a stake in the family business. With regard to his wealth from his family business and footballing career, Perlo stated in an interview with Italian Vanity Fair magazine that he never talks about money. Perlo is known for being a wine connoisseur and he also runs his own vineyard in Italy, which produces around 15 to 20,000 bottles a year. In 2013, Perlo wrote an autobiography with Alessandro Alciato, titled Penso Quindi Gioco, I Think Therefore I Play, dot on September 1, 2014, Perlo, along with many current and former footballing stars, took part in the match for peace, which was played at the Stadio Olimpico, in Rome, with the proceeds being donated entirely to charity. That same year, he revealed that he supported Inter in his youth, and that his favorite footballers and major influences as a player were German former midfielder Lothar Matthias, as he played for Inter, and compatriot Roberto Baggio, due to his playing style and role on the pitch as an offensive playmaker, with which Perlo identified at the time, in July 2016, it was reported that Perlo's jersey was the highest-selling MLS shirt in 2016. On July 7, 2017, Perlo's partner, Valentina Baldini, gave birth to their twins named Leonardo and Tommaso. Perlo featured in EA Sports football video game FIFA 20 as one of the ultimate team icons. Honors player Brescia Serie B, 1996-97 AC Milan Serie A, 2003-04, 2010-11 Coppa Italia, 2002-03 Supercoppa Italiana, 2004 UEFA Champions League, 2002-03, 2006-07, runner-up, 2004-05 UEFA Super Cup, 2003-2007 FIFA Club World Cup, 2007 Juventus Serie A, 2011-12, 2012 to 13, 2013 to 14, 
2014-15 Coppa Italia, 2014-15 Super Coppa Italiana, 2012-2013 UEFA Champions League runner-up, 2014-15 Italy U21 UEFA European Under-21 Championship, 2000 Italy Olympic Team Summer Olympic Games Bronze Medal, 2004 Italy FIFA World Cup, 2006 UEFA European Championship runner-up, 2012 FIFA Confederations Cup Bronze Medal, 2013 Individual UEFA European Under-21 Championship Golden Player, 2000 UEFA European Under-21 Championship Top Scorer, 2000 2006 FIFA World Cup All-Star Team. 2006 FIFA World Cup, Bronze Ball, 2006 FIFA World Cup, Top Assist Provider, 2006 FIFA World Cup Final, Man of the Match, FIF Pro World 11, 2006 UEFA Super Cup Man of the Match, 2007 ESPN World Team of the Decade, 2009, Premio Bulgarelli No. 8, 2012 ESM Team of the Year, 2011-12, Pallone D'Argento, 2011-12, Pallone Azuro, 2012, Garen Doro, 2012, UEFA European Championship Teams of the Tournament, 2012, UEFA Team of the Year, 2012, 2011-12 Serie A Top Assist Provider, Serie A Team of the Year, 2011-12, 2012-13, 2013-14, Serie A Midfielder of the Year, 2012, Serie A Footballer of the Year, 2012-2013, 2014, Premio Nazionale Carriera Esemplare Gaetano Syria. 2013, FIFA Confederations Cup Team of the Tournament, 2013, FIFA Confederations Cup Castrol Index Top 11, 2013, UEFA Europa League Team of the Season, 2013-14, UEFA Champions League Team of the Season, 2014-15, AC Milan Hall of Fame, All-Time UEFA European Under-21 Championship Dream Team, 2015, New York City FC's Ride of Fame, September 2015, Globe Soccer Awards Player Career Award, 2015, UEFA European Championship All-Time 11, 2016, Major League Soccer All-Star, 2016, Juventus. Greatest 11 of All Time, 2017, Premio Internazionale Jacinto Facchetti, 2017, AIC Lifetime Achievement Award, 2018, Golden Foot Award Legends, 2018, Italian Football Hall of Fame, 2019, Ballon d'Or Dream Team, Silver 2020.